Hey, it's Mr. Mabry, and here's a quick tutorial on how to use Microsoft Publisher to make your time travel brochure. So here we go. Um, go to your start menu, type in Publisher, and click on the link that pops up. When you get to Publisher, my advice for you would be, we don't want something blank, we don't want something new, I'm going to click on Brochure. Searching thousands of online templates, I'm going to look for the trifold brochure. That's what we want. Yes, that looks great. Give me a trifold brochure. Now I'm going to full screen it. And I've got this brochure that I can zoom in on, and it's got all these things that I can delete and add for myself. This is typically where people put their logo um, for their time travel agency, maybe a picture or two. And then here on the inside, this is typically where people put their climate and geology and plant info and all you're gonna do here is you can delete stuff you can add stuff in um, but I like having this because look they've already got these columns for you they tell you where stuff should go and then on the back side right here is where people mostly tend to put their summary for instance here's the example of the brochure I made I've got my time travel agency right here a goofy picture that everyone Ricardo from my agency Cabral, if you're in the building please report to the office Ricardo Cabral please report to the office here's a picture of the agency uh, picture that all people in, my, in, in blast from the past have this is unique to my own package here on the inside I have plants and animals I decided to combine climate and geology put my attraction pictures and items over here and here on the back I put my summary you don't have to do it in this format. You have artistic license. However, a lot of students do. That's why I'm showing you the most common one. Now, some hot tips for printing. I would strongly encourage you to print this at home if you've got a printer at home so it comes out in color and looks more cool. However, you can print it out here at school, but there are some tricks. When you go up to File and Print, make sure you select CG Printers, but then don't say, um, one page per sheet, actually one page per sheet is correct. When it says don't print on one sided, that's what you default to. That's going to print two sheets. You want to print flip sheets on the long edge. So the front looks like this, the back looks like this. And you'll be good to go. And then when you click print, you can go pick it up at CG Printers. I can't wait to read, to read your brochures. I'm sure it's going to be awesome. Thanks for watching.